I'm going to create a look that you will love. So let's get it. A glycolic toner by Pixie. And just clean my face. This toner is alcohol free. So I really love it. And also it helps to minimize my uh, blackheads as well. For that, uh, I'm just gonna put a hyaluronic acid serum use this NARS concealer in medium dark which is a little bit darker than my skin and has that tint which will blur out my pigmentation very well and this has always been my favorite rather than beauty blender because I don't want any products to be wasted so I just want it to be very simple and not too many products pink quads this is pink quads <laughs> and this is the matte stick in coco by pixie this is really useful uh, so I'm just going to use the matte one this is like not too dark in brown shade I just want to carve a little bit in the outer corner like a wing like a wing eyeliner and I'm gonna smudge the product outwards so that it elongates my eyes and also this will create dimension to your eyes and your crease will pop out this is very good trick for mono eyelids as well. I love to bring it outwards because it will just elongate my eyes a little bit and not make it look too round. Now to set that uh, cream base, I'm just gonna follow up with this uh, Caramel Cutie Bronzer by Fenty Beauty. I use the bigger blending brush and just blend out the harsh line. I'm using this palette by Line Crime. So it has like beautiful lilac shade. Um, I'm using the shade Divine. Now what I'm going to do is take an eyeliner or gel eyeliner and just elongate my eyes a little bit wider. As you can see, I have elongated a little bit outwards, but it's not too harsh, just as much very light line and elongate it in my inner corner as well so it's quite looking pretty now it's time to add some shimmer so I'm using the pink quads by Pixi Beauty I'm just highlighting the center of my lips just a little bit now let's go on to the skin and for skin, I'm using my favorite foundation by Fenty, the hydrating foundation. I'm in the shade 300, too much. So starting with the center of my face. I'm going with the Dior Backstage Foundation in Face and Body Foundation. I use this in the outer corner of my face, not in as a contour, but to create a dimension. Following with the favorite palette by Natasha Denona, I'm using the cream blush. After that, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Concealer in 260 for my under eyes. I'm going to bronze my face using the Fenty Beauty Passion Gel bronzer and I'm just going to use all over my face because I really like to put some warmth on my face when it's summer So my nose See how good that looks gonna contour with the caramel cutie 
under my cheekbones. This is also bronzer. A little bit darker. After that, follow me with the blush. I'm using the Bare Mirrorless Blush in But Frost Coffee. Uh, it's a bit like bronze undertone with some mauve pink. It, it, it gives you that burnt, rosy cheeks. Now to set my face and my under eyes, I'm going to use a banana powder. I'm using the same brush because I'm so lazy. I'm just going to press the powder. I tend to get very uh, oily in my T-zone, not so oily but in the summer and I like to let it be glowy on this part and not put too much powder. And also under my cheekbones. Same shade in Divine. I'm gonna put it under my eye. So using the ABH eyebrow gel, I'm gonna set my eyebrows a little bit. Since I have very straight eyelash, I'm going to curl and use a waterproof mascara on my upper lashes. And for the lower lashes, I'm just gonna use a normal mascara by Too Faced. So I'm going back with the shadow stick in Made Coco and I'm just gonna line my lips a little bit because I want that brown nude retro kind of look. If you want your lips to look a little bit plump, you can put a uh, contour here, like little bit here as well. And I'm just gonna match out the harsh line. Just put a very nude, pink nude lipstick in the center of my lips. This is not so matte. For the final judge, I'm making a beauty mark of uh, my white heads. So that's it guys, it wraps up the retro everyday look. Hope you guys liked it and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and thumbs up.